Alright, so welcome back. I am Archer Fangs. Once again, we're playing Dying Night. So, last video we actually um, got an airdrop. We actually secured two safe houses near um, Bryce location. We got this one and this one. And unfortunately, I end up the, ended up the recording right here in this safe zone. But when I came back and logged in, I spawned back over here at the tower. I actually turned in the airdrop by accident right now because the whole Easter, you know, event um, is over and there's something about, it says something about me need to check the, the quartermaster. So I went to speak to him or spoke to him and it turned in the airdrop and everything. And also got some new stuff apparently like an Easter outfit talking and then... Not to redeem it. You unlock Kaka Duru Du. Wow. Then outfit, dock it, Joker outfit. Redeem it. What did we get? Joker outfit. And then we got two premium dock it. Let's redeem them. So you have a new item short gator knife. And then what's another one? And a police baton. Hmm, we'll check those later and there's a knife in there, but I'm not gonna get, grab those But what I'm gonna grab is the chemicals, gauze, duct tape, all this you should watch your step. Let's check out the new offer we got for the Crane, Easter thingy Can you hear me? Jade? Yeah, I copy. Something wrong? No, no, it's um... Listen, Crane, we all appreciate We actually went through that, um... Last video so I'm gonna turn, put these in there. I'm not gonna use them. Check the outfit. So we got Kako Doo Doo Doo. Oh wow. Oh wow. That's weird. And then we have a runner. Some of these outfits, once again, they already came with the DLC because I have the following Enhanced Edition. So it came with a few DLCs and all that kind of stuff. So I'm actually gonna not wear that because, I mean, yeah, I could wear it. Why not, right? You're doing, and I know you're doing it to redeem yourself because Amir died saving your life. I'm doing it because if we don't get antizen from rice, people will start to die. You know, I met Amir right after the outbreak. I didn't know him for that long, but... He was the best, most decent man I've ever known. But I just want you to know that I don't blame you. Amir knew the risk. And Crane, we know that you too are taking a risk to do this for us. I... Look, Jade... We'll talk when I get back with the antizen, okay? Okay. Just, just come back in one piece, all right? All right. I like the outfits in this game, but no thing you can really see yourself. It would be nice if they could have like a first-person view or a third-person view, at least to check yourself out. Like the only way to. Check out my office if um, you do the drop kick, or if you have someone knows where the alpha and check it out yourself. But yeah. All right, so let's head over to pack over oh, to rice place. So many zombies here. So yeah, let's go over here. What do we have over here? A tunnel. So the wrench I have right now is has zero repairs now, so I'm about to dismount it once it's um once the durability depletes. Okay, Rahim, I'm here. Make sure they see you and know who you are. You don't want to sneak up on them. That's a good way to catch a bullet. Wish me luck, kid. Good luck, brother. You're going to need it. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Hands up! 
the fuck do you want? I'm here to see Rice. Brecken sent me. Brecken? That asshole on the tower? All right. What does he want? Come to make a deal. What kind of deal? The kind I make with Rice, not with his flunkies. All right. Let him through. This ought to be entertaining. All right, let's see. It's kind of weird. We're gonna go in with the cockadoodle doo outfit. How long have we been friends, Osman? We have been friends for a very long time. That is why I'm so surprised that you would steal from me. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Now I give you a choice. Very simple. Your right hand or your left. <laughs> left. <laughs> Was that my left or your left? You have the look of the tower about you. What do you want? I'm here to make a deal. A deal. For fantasy, no doubt. Desperate times. And what do you offer in return? Hmm? Your services? Your loyalty? Perhaps I should take both. Talk to Karim. He's one of ours. Do what he asks of you, and Rise will consider giving your people some antazin. Understood? I don't seem to have a choice. Perceptive. So that guy literally just chopped off the hand from that guy. What a gross. I'm gonna take that weapon. My first bladed weapon. And I believe there's like a little bed over here. You wanna if you wanna sleep, skip the day tonight or night today. So, yeah, so let's go speak to that one guy, Karim. Get inside. I met Rice, and Jade's right, he's a psychopath. He's also the GRE's rogue operative. Now I've got to cooperate with this piece of shit, not only because of my mission, but also because he's got a ton of antizen stockpiled. All right. Just a little disclaimer, um, loading screens will always be edited out from the videos unless they're short, but if they take a while, they're gonna go away from the video, so I'm just gonna edit those out. There's a shop guy right here in this trade. Oh, he has a purple. Ooh, look at these. I want the hook blade, but it's pricey. Let's buy this. So yeah, don't buy weapons unless you need to because they're really, really pricey and they're not even worth the price. I mean, those weapons you could probably find them out there, like looting chests or from or from killing Rai's own men. You'll get them. And when you buy the materials, you need like the household supplies, aerosol, gauze, stuff like that. If you're short on them and you desperately need them. So yeah, let's speak to this guy. There you are. Rai said you'd be coming by. I'm Karim. Crane. An American. I have an uncle there. Lives in Texas. You from Texas? You a cowboy? I'm from Chicago. Okay, Al Capone. We'll be in constant contact over the radio. That way I can make sure you get where you need to go. And where's that exactly? You're going to be climbing antenna towers and switching on shortwave radio modulators. Most of my men are too slow, too fat, or too drunk to climb a tower like that without killing themselves. <laughs> and if I do this, I'll get the answers in? That's between you and Rice. I know better than to speak for him. Just don't fail. He doesn't handle disappointment very well. Mm, I can see that. 
Alright, then just turn on those antennas. But first, we gotta speak to Jeremy. Like always. All right, man. Crane. Report. Just met Rise. There's no question, that's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politician to fucking warlord. Is he aware of your affiliation with us? No. He thinks I'm just a guy from the tower. In fact, he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. Acknowledged. Continue to do as he asks. Remember, we need that file. Great. Crane out. All right, so what are the first objectives over here? So let's go that way. Ooh, more shrooms. What exactly am I doing? Radio communication has been pretty spotty in the quarantine. These modulators will help boost the signal so Rise can communicate with Atlas at the far reaches of town. Well, that's a benefit for everyone, not just Rise. Perhaps. But the Emperor must monitor his empire. <laughs> Oh no, you have a runner. You gotta be kidding me. Ooh, there's right men over there. That's what he's done. A weapon. Motherfucker! Got him. Not dead. Oh my god, he got literally so many times. Let's heal. I don't know. Give me a weapon, dude. Where's his gun? He had cash. Ooh, a crude pick. Um, what happened to the other Reisman? Oh, he left. Alright, let's switch it back to the other one. Or which one is this one? Yeah, if you hold the left D pad or the right D pad, it will open up your inventory. Um like wheel and also the your your secondary weapons like the firecrackers, all that kind of stuff. Kareem, I'm at the first antenna. If the power's not on, you'll have to turn it on. There'll be a switch in the small building at the antenna's base. Um, there's a big dude over there. Up, <laughs> oh, wrong one. Damn it. <laughs> the big guy didn't die. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. So I assume I have to go in that building again or I have to climb the antenna. Oh, what? Well, another drop is coming. 
Where is it at? Oh, I see it. Oh, I think over there. I guess I'm gonna skip it. I'm doing the mission right now, so I don't wanna go both ways. Go this way. Right. Oh. What the hell? Hey, why are you shouting? I'm shouting because this fucked up infected motherfucker with guts hanging out of his mouth just spit a bunch of toxic snot at me. Not a bad reason. What the heck is that? <clears throat> Kill that thing. Oh, these are dead. At least they die quicker than the regular zombies. Alright. Go that way, dude. I need more firecrackers. Just allocate the agility point. Health region allows your body gets more athletic and you are um, able to regenerate health to a higher level. Vault. And we have that. Free running adept. Get better at free running, run longer, climb more quickly, gain agility. Faster and get access to a new set of running abilities. So escape, night drop, backlash, and tackle are the new abilities we're gonna get next level up. So this is a hard one, you know. I want both health regen and free running adapt, but I need to, I couldn't get one. So let's go for health regen. And I'm gonna craft more um, firecrackers. Where is the firecrackers? There it is. Let's grab another one. Have a total of 16. Ooh, another one. Oh, there's people in here. Go that way. He's not going that way. <laughs> Power level up. Let's do that one as well. So now we have combat adept. You get better at fighting, gain more stamina, and receive access to a new set of combat. Let's go for that one. So now we're gonna get conserve weapons. Learn how to use your weapons more efficiently. Melee weapons lose their ability much more slowly. Then we have ground pound. Straight the ground with a powerful blow that topples enemies. Stomp. Finish enemies on the ground with it. Head stomp, you can also use it on virus climbing in platform. Nice sturdiness too, and power attack. Powerful blow that deals massive damage to damage but uses a lot of stamina. Oh wow. The sturdiness just increases more your defense when you have the first one. Um, I wanna, let's just try them over there. He's dead. Let's do this. Are you quick? There! The power's fucking on! Oh, oh god. So I turn on the power and this is what else? Oh, I have to climb the antenna. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Um, how do you climb this? Where else do we go from here? Up here. Um, okay. And where do you go? Alright. <laughs> it's much higher? Wow. 
if you look at the minimap if it has like the like a arrow blinking upwards it means uh, it's in a higher level than you like higher elevation meaning i gotta go higher but if the arrow's pointing downward that means it's below you like mm, so yeah so if you see at the minimap right now it has like the circle the like uh my objective point and then it has like a red arrow like pointing pointing upwards If it doesn't have any arrow, that means you're on the right elevation. Go up here. And then from here, what do we go? Oh god! Down he goes. So this weapon is already broken. This um, which one is it? This one. This mantle. And let's put in the crude pick. Alright, so we gotta turn the power. Oh shit. Kareem, oh, no. someone already scavenged this thing for parts. There's nothing up here to switch on. Fuck, I was afraid of that. Alright, head to the next antenna tower. It's not too far from there. Just use the zip line and head east. You'll see it. All right, so I'm gonna call in right here um, with this antenna, you know, have that great view of Haran, you know, the slums. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe if you haven't done so. And if you got any questions about the game or about the, about my channel, you can leave down in the comments below. And as always, I am Archer Fanks. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.